I don't think dying is on my agenda today. Yeah! All right, I gotta check the porta potties every time. Gotta check the latrine. Gotta check the think tank. Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. This is episode four, Iron Bark Look Out. Oh my God, I have been waiting for this. I started following Rail on Twitter. I had this game wishlisted on Steam for the longest when it was available for wishlist that is. I kept up with this game. And let me tell you guys, okay? If you do end up playing the Fears to Fathom games, if you do end up wanting to try them out for yourself, support these games because let me rail has this game up for five dollars five or six i can't remember but like back when they were still making this game they said that this was the most ambitious fears of fathom project that they had been working on and for five dollars i i feel like it should be at least 10 to 12 somewhere in like the double digits so go ahead and support this i I, uh, I'm so excited to get into this. I love Fierce of Fathom. Carson House was probably my favorite. And then Home Alone was the second. I think Norwood Hitchhike is is probably down there. And there's one more episode that comes after Iron Bark Lookout. I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna be about. I'm so ex oh, okay. I really hope that there is another Fierce of Fathom to come out. Cause I, anyways, without further ado, let's hop right into this shit. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24, or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. <sighs> I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles Morales of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself, with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the one, the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out, my, out of my RV and liked to travel. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about two hour, it was about a two hour drive. <laughs> yes sir! It's 40 miles per hour out here, I'd like to push that. Go 70. Kayla Nelson, I don't want to read my messages right now. I lived a very solitary life. I'm so happy right now. It helps quiet my mind, keeps the memories at bay. 25, I'm still pushing 70. Sir, sir, sir! Ah, oh, come on. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a death screen because I know in uh, Norwood, Nor I think it was Norwood Hitchhike. Um, I've always loved the great outdoors because I know in Norwood Hitchhike, um, hang on, I'll finish my thought in a second. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I mean, God damn, look at this. It gave me happiness too. I feel like I was at home in the woods. Kayla, I'm driving. I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing to text you. I don't know what your importance to me is, but you can wait. Unless you're my mom, then I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Kayla didn't say shit about a diner because I wasn't paying attention to her text messages. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, we gotta get a good park job. No, 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 keep going. We gotta get a good park job. Even though I'm pretty sure it's gonna auto park for me. <laughs> oh my god. This is my bed? Yo, imagine living in living out in an RV like that. Okay, something somebody's definitely gonna be in here. Imagine living out of an RV and just traveling the world. That shit sounds so peaceful. Like you have everything you need in this little you only have to make a couple of stops, maybe like travel to the city a couple of times and then buy everything that you need like pancakes and and bacon and sausage eggs whatever start cooking up some breakfast you gotta look at this this looks cozy as fuck this bathroom is a little too small for me but like everything else i just get a couple of friends get an rv i'm done okay i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done okay part job wasn't too bad yes sir all right it's an rv what do i expect Oh, I'm so excited to play this. See, this is why I can't not finish my thought. Oh, right. What I was going to say. What I was about to say. <laughs> what I was about to say was, I know that in the Norwood Hitchhike, you get a game over screen and an achievement for, like, being a bad driver or whatever, like, actually running into... That was it. That was... How was that burger? Where are you headed? How was that... He's not even finished. He hasn't even taken a bite. How was the burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You're new around here. Just passing through. I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State. Oh, I didn't even read the text messages. Am I working here? I'm just passing through. Have a safe journey. Uh, let me read my text messages. Mitch Scott, Kayla Nelson. Let's see what Mitch is talking about. Congratulations on transferring. Uh, oh, congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you. Okay, he's munching in my ear. I don't I don't want to hear that right now. <laughs> Give me one second. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts at 12. On the 12th. At 12. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. You can not... Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill, or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this because everyone joining this line asked this question to everyone joining this line, line of work. People join looking for a getaway, or to discover who they are, or only to leave without notice. Guess, they'll ju guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined the Iron House last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Ironbark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday? Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Damn! I hope you... I hope we got strong legs. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. All right, now let's see what Kayla's talking about. Oh, uh, you took a picture of your ID? That's not good. Oh, that's the Iron Bark ID. <laughs> I thought that was my license. This new regional management manager just is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch. Y'all some introverted ass. I, I can't do not being around the city life. I, I think I like the city life a little too much. I like to be involved in stuff. I don't know. That's just... Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I honestly don't. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for change. Speaking of change, da 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 da. Iron Bark? They're staffing for me in the Iron. Staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staff cabins and less. Bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With dad, I'll be back. With dad, I'll be, I'll call you back. Oh my God. How's it looking? That's how excited I am. I can't even focus on reading. Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? 
If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I remember there's this diner while passing Best Burgers. Okay, cool. All right. So we were on our way to work and we decided to stop by and talk to Kayla. So is Kayla our sister or our love interest? Because she said with dad. So if you were talking to somebody not related to you, you would say with my dad or with my mom or with my brother, not with dad or with mom. Uh, so I'm going to assume that Kayla is our sister. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about you? Not too bad. How about you? Feel free to take any sweet you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Do I get an achievement for talking to everybody in the diner like parasocial? Please leave me alone. All right. Sorry. Jackass. No, he said please. He was respectful about it. Why'd the music stop? Oh, my God. You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Sorry, my dude job. That's none of your business. I guess not. Damn, now I kind of feel bad. Damn. Now I feel bad. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? Now I'm asking the same question. I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? Just down the road. Uh, 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 I'm gonna go back in. I don't know. Just passing through. Uh, ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. Keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. I don't think I could handle a job like that. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? Uh, what? I need to go. Uh, what? Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Isn't it pretty quiet? Pretty quiet? Isn't it pretty quiet in here? Uh, yeah, we're gonna ignore that. Could you point me to the restroom? Uh, I can find it on my own. Yeah, it's been like that for a while now. Ever since that high, ever since the highway bypassed this town, things have been pretty slow. That's a shame. It seems like a nice place. It used to be, but times can change, I suppose. Did you point me to the bathroom? I don't need it. I can find the bathroom on my own. How's the food? Do you mind if I join you? Pretty long day at work, huh? Mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Man, I say great! Okay, so he's not gonna say anything. Okay, he's the killer. Whatever killer there is, is, is who's gonna kill me. Why did I need to go to the bathroom? Oh, okay. Let me at least close the door! Can I flush? Flush. Okay, cool. Now wash your hands. Huh. At least in the Carson house. <laughs> at least they allow you to wash your hands and dry them in this game. In the Carson house, that kid just peed and went about his day. Which I guess is typical behavior for a teenage boy. But he said he was like, what, 17, 18? So that's not necessarily, I mean, listen, there are some of them who are like that. We sit here. I'm waiting on my sister. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Ah, uh, these are good options. I feel like cheeseburger with fries is like a basic answer. I feel like that's something that I would get. See, I'm I'm kind of picky when it comes to new foods, but I've been trying to expand my palate. Ah! Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. I wouldn't normally do onion rings. Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke, coffee, strawberry slush. Strawberry slush! Perfect. Anything else? That would be all. Thank you. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else, sugar. <laughs> Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. See, we got to be nice to them sometimes. No, we have to be nice to them all the time. Waitresses and waiters and staff, like food staff, they fucking hate their jobs. Like, I've never, I've only done food service for like maybe a year and a half. And it wasn't even like real food service. 
it was a it was a Pizza Hut Express in the Target that I used to work at, and um, I mean, like I guess you can consider that food service because I was making the food, I was dealing with customers, but I feel like an actual restaurant or a fast food place is different from an express. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think I would necessarily say that I did food service. Others would argue. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this looks good. Uh, I start with the the onion rings. Consuming. Ah, uh, that strawberry slush. Ah, uh, that shit was banging. What you want, Kayla? Go. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Oh, I thought we were meeting her there. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Shit. Use a bitch. Love you though. X O X O X X O. Uh, wow. Yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Send me in a bit. What the fuck does that mean? Send me in a bit. I've never heard anybody say that before. Ah, oh, I'm so full now. Off of a grilled cheese, onion rings, and a strawberry Slurpee. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? What if I wanted more food? What if I wanted more food? I'm gonna be on the road for a while. What if I want more food? Uh, no, fuck that. Take something to go. I'm gonna be walking for like two hours. Didn't he say like two hours? He said it was gonna be like a two hour walk after reaching the gate. Check please. Okay, I'll bring it right back. Thanks. Dine and dash, dine and dash. Damn, she is quick with it. They had that shit ready to go. Here's the check. Your total is seven dollars and six cents. Uh, do a fifty percent tip. We balling like that. Tip the waitress. Thanks for the generous tip. No, thank you. You are super kind, super sweet, awesome. Great service around here. Eight o two p.m. I want to include the location of this park. Twenty-five. But I don't want to see. Oh, oh shit. Okay. What did that say? Is this it? I think this is it. Ah! Is this it? Wait, no. I think he said something about gate G. I drove past the trail at first. Oh, okay. I was not supposed to stop. Yeah, let's just turn the music back on. I feel a lot safer with the music playing in the background. Can I take my bag with me? Should I take my bag with me? I'm gonna take my bag with me. I feel like that would be the safest thing to do. I'm terrified. This is very eerie. Very eerie. Sonita Williams, huge. That's not what I thought his last name was gonna be. Brittany, Spear Brittany Spears. <laughs> okay, I get it. Hugh Jackman, Brittany Spears. Renita Williams, that's funny. That's that's very clever. Please stay on trail. The please stay on the trail. Switchback shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please take back all trash you don't burn. Uh, don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. Interesting. Never thought about that. That's really funny. Hugh Jasmine, Sunita Williams. Okay. I was literally about to say I have to keep my guard up when opening doors because I I know I know fierce of fathom I fucking know I was expecting somebody to be there when I opened the door but of course that's how they get you because they subvert your expectations by doing something else similar to Ugh! holy moly you scared the shit out of me yeah that's right I'm gonna swear I thought you were one of them you scared me oh he said that. You scared me. What of who? What do you mean? You scared me, but we're going to ignore that. What of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer. I was told to report here. I'm the new transfer. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. What do you mean by that? Hang on. Let me check on that. While you do that, I'm just gonna set this here. Close that. Uh, okay, apparently I can phase through chairs. 
Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be that would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are the keys. Cool. Let me open the trail gate for you. Can I grab my bag? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need uh, this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. I thought I might need one. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Okay. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, we get to your. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to the tower 12 uh, during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergencies. Thank you, Billy. You have a good day. All right. Uh, but, hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or half a mile or so of your tower. North of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Arigato gozaimasu, dozo iroroshiku. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he... How do I turn this on? Okay, cool. I'm very nervous already. I... Oh my god. Foot trail. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. Huh? Only horses? What? Guys, I... Oh my god, I've talked about this before in several of my videos. I cannot camp. I can't hike. I can't camp, especially at night. No, 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 no! I barely... I barely like going through the creeks. It was a long hike and I was starting to get cold now. What happens if I go back? Why do I like to explore? Why do I like to do this to myself? Uh, okay, invisible wall. Got it, cool. At least I know. Ironbark, Tower 11, La uh, Lacey Trail, Gold Creek. All right, let's just stay on the path. Let's just not even... Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. You mean I live here now? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. You know what? I've been walking for a while. Let me take it. No. Not this again. See, here's the problem with uh, with porta potties, though, is that you can't wash your hands after using them. So it's, it's kind of gross when you really think about it. Like porta potties are the grossest thing that humans have ever created. Uh, that's that's an exaggeration for sure, but you get the idea. <laughs> My hands were full. Oh yeah, sure. That means that I can't carry anything else. Like you know, maybe put something under one arm and then. Uh, all right, well, now I know that if I need to hide, I know where to hide. That's great, too, because you can actually see out of the uh, out of the porta potty doors. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Iron Bark Lookout. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires of or anything out of the ordinary. Wasn't there a game like this a while ago? Um... It was a very colorful game, actually. It was like... I don't know, I'm gonna shut up. Oh! Oh! Got windows! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I'm sure opening all of these windows isn't gonna be any kind of danger to me at all. Yeah, that looks right. Now everybody can see inside my operation of base. My base of operation. Uh, ooh, look at the bed. A cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Well, that's good. Oh, shit. I didn't- Oh, shit! We're gonna cause a fire. We're gonna be the reason why there's a fire in the woods. Can I put it out? Oh, it goes out on its own. Okay. Alright, we haven't even- I don't even think we've gotten into the thick of it yet. I haven't even gotten to my post. Radio equipment was sitting on the table. Do I have a light? Ah, there we go. Sweet! Sweet! 
Yeah, the longer I have these open, the less the less secure I feel. I've uh, mm. Mm. Alright, we're just gonna keep an eye out. Ah, yes! Oh, I did not mean to throw that. Keep that on you. Just don't have it on. Okay. They have all the essentials that we need. You know what? This isn't so bad. Yeah! This isn't so bad! Okay, this might be really bad. Oh wow, this zooms out really far. I'm gonna keep everything that I need uh, at an arm's reach. Just so that I, uh, just so that I know where everything is when the time comes down to it. <laughs> Two hours later. Woo! Multicolor dial research, da 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 da, initializing AZC. Starting Rainbow 98. It's supposed to be Windows? Rainbow 98, professional. Uh, I don't know the password. Check the Ironbark rules flyer. Of course. Of course. Oh. System password is Ironbark tower number. Oh, Ironbark 11. Okay. This is Iron, oh. Ironbark 11. Hello? Oh, my caps lock is on. <laughs> Iron Bark 11. First try. Didn't even need to figure, uh, figure out the passcode. Okay. Holders. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you the Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in generation in generating the oxygen we breathe. Clickety click. Quack. Console employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. <gasps> Jack if you're watching guy. this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I'll try, Jack. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat if you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. 
<laughs> Complete the watching employee. That's awesome. Dude, he's been in so many games recently. Like, I remember back in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 when he had the video, the tape. He's been in Bendy and the Ink Machine, and ah, uh, I, I aspire. I dream. I dream of it. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? <laughs> Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> wow. Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? That's personal information. <laughs> sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. <laughs> what did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh. <laughs> what? Hi, everyone. Ron Ross. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. What green? I love time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is, the basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break. E eviction notice. Ready to wield some digital magic? Uh, with console, type help to get command list. Help. Uh, checks for available system update, checks for current version, install system update with package code, close the console. Um, T H K U P D. Oh, does it have to be in caps? T H. Oh, no update available. Okay, so it doesn't have to be in all caps. I just wasn't reading. <laughs> D-H-K-V-R. Current package 2.0. Update. Okay. Exit. Black.exe. Oh, boy. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Wait! I didn't know we were playing a game inside of a game! Hold on! Wait! I wasn't prepared for this! Ow! Man, my aim fucking sucks! I really hope I don't have to deal with this kind of aim in the. <laughs> oh! We done? We good? Oh, there's another one. Stop moving! Why am I actually sitting here playing this right now? Is there an end to this? Or do I just die? What is my objective? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get out of the way! Uh, so yeah guys, I kind of got myself in a little bit of a predicament here Whoa! Why am I still playing this I got an achievement for scoring 500 in the minigame. Why am I still playing? I legit have no idea This is legit me all day at work This <laughs> 
This is me. Okay, that was fun, but I I wasn't gonna spend the entire time. <laughs> service report. Um welcome to the state of the art service reporting software. Oh. Can I change the frequency? Static. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. Who is no, who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Okay, I thought I was going to be alone out here. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, big facts. Sorry, I was playing I mean, uh check searching for zombies. Looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. How do I do that? Can I continue to look through my computer? How can I make your day better? Ironbark Trail Map. This is the Ironbark State uh, State Park Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the area, beauty from the comfort of your screen. I'm here to help. Tower two. Or no, that's Tower eleven. I think. How does this help me? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? No, not yet. Leave me alone. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Okay, gosh. Uh, I, I need wood, I would assume. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Hey, she was getting gritty? Right foot creep, oh, I'm walking with an eel. Anyways, you better get that I need to learn from her. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that there is no gasoline in my cabin, considering I have to go down. Oh, <laughs> is it is it full? <laughs> sounds full to me. Nope, that sounds pretty fucking empty. Oh, why does the music have to get like that? I'm gonna go ahead and close these. I'm gonna close close it, close it, close it. Okay, just so that I don't have any unexpected jump scares while I'm gone. Can I lock this? Nope. Oh, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Checking for smoke. Not seeing any smoke. Let's just get what we need and go. Just get what we need and go. Oh, I didn't bring my flashlight. I didn't bring my flashlight. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I made a big mistake. Place the stove. What? Place in stove. Okay. Um, my hands are full. No, they aren't. They're not. Your hands are fine. Okay, go, 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 oh, okay. It's got your typical, um, need to light it. Oh boy, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah, that looks safe. <laughs> that looks safe. Is it going? Are we good? Ah, I see it. Sweet. I see the smoke. Sweet. Oh. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Yeah, I bet it is. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, no. Damn, leave me alone. I just started the job. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get on that. It, Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay. Uh, service reporting. Date. 11.32. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Oh, shit. I don't even know any of this. Wind speed. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> number of hikers assisted. Well, we can say zero. Reported by... Uh, what's my name? J Josh or something? Josh. I think. Oh, uh, I'm gonna fuck this up. Is there is there a way to fuck this up? I need to grab that thing. This thing. Yeah. 
My hands are full. Get, put the matches down! Wind speeds are at 17 knots, Captain. Wind speeds are at 17 knots. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty clear night. It's like, it's 40 degrees. 45? 50. I'd say 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. All right. All right. This job is easy. I got this. This is an easy job. 50 degrees. Nope, not 59. 50. And then what's my name? Who am I? Jack? Josh? Jack? I, I think it's something with a J. I'm going to go with Jack. Josh? Josh. We're going to go with Josh. I don't, I don't know. Something didn't look right. What is my name? This is what's going to take me over an hour. I'm trying to figure out my fucking name. Jack. Okay, it was Jack. Do I have to write the full name? Jack Nelson? <sighs> Jack Nelson. Submit. Something didn't look right. What? Cloud? Mist? Clear. Wind. Rain. Heat wave. Dust storm. What didn't look right? Am I am I saying this right? 45? Can we go over 45? 45 degrees? I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Clear! Jesus! God! Hey, copy, new guy. Uh, Tower 11 copy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. I'm Me too. 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. You too, old guy. Don't want the bed bugs to bite. Ah, good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night, over and out. Cool. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bed too. Oh my god! Most ambitious. You damn right. This is the most ambitious episode. 3:26 a.m. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, something about Rice Krispie treats? Hello? I had to pee. Uh, no, not really. It wasn't that serious. Static. Connor? Shit. Hmm, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Where'd everything go? Where'd all my stuff go? Where'd all my stuff go? No, where's my flashlight? Where's my bag? Flashlight? Bag? Oh, get up. Where's my flashlight? I'm not leaving without my flashlight. Can I go back to sleep? I should just go to sleep. Night two. Ah, oh, okay. So I avoided death. It's just you, the wind, and the time just smelt away, or just melts away. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Not a day that goes to take a photo. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Make that my wallpaper. Oh, look at the birds. Let me take a photo of that. Just like how mama used to make it. Get a picture of them birds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing like a nice cup. Of get off. Get off what? <laughs> get off what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the life right here. New guy, do you copy? I copy. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Hang on. Here I come in a second, Connor. Where the fuck's my flashlight? Turn that off. No way this game is gonna do me dirty like that. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy, Connor, what's up? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. 
Uh, now what kind of bastard? What kind of bastard kids are out here making ruckus and buckus? Oh shit. I don't know, Connor. I'm not an expert. Oh, oh I see it. <laughs> there it is. Damn, this thing zooms in really far. I don't even know where the smoke is anymore. Yep, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one, Connor. I need you to confirm. Can you give me a second? Bro! Chill out! You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. The lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Right. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Right. The fire risks are high this season. Right. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back. Yes. Do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay. Stay All safe right. out there. I'll report don't back. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Cool. Sweet. Uh, heal. Should I take my compass? I. Right. I'm gonna take my compass. Where's the bear spray? Okay, the compass is in the bag. My hands are full. You mean to tell me that I can carry a bag and uh, uh, a flashlight, but I can't carry a fucking spray and a jackass? All right, here we go. I'm on my way to Lacey Trail. Those bastard kids won't get away with this. What happens if I did use the bathroom last night? What happens if I did go pee? Caution, bear in area. A singular bear roams these woods. 8.37 p.m. Why is it so late? How did it get so dark all of a sudden? I followed the trail that led to the smoke. Bro! How did it get dark all of a sudden? Hello? No camping. I love Jen. She gives the best head. <laughs> uh, violators will be sighted and moved. Oh my... God. Hey! Hey! Bastard kids! Oh. Oh, okay, hang on. Give me one second. Give me one second, Kayla. Okay, chill out. Chill! <sighs> Sorry, just got home. Pizza, ba pasta, bake. Ingredients. You will not believe how easy it, how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send pics, please. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. Oh, nice. We set the pic. Oh, cool. View from the tower, and thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Okay. I'm too anxious to send back. Emergency closure. Trail constructed. Step out here. Show yourself. I have pepper spray. It's not as effective as gun, but it's still pretty fucking effective. Oh my god. Is there nothing else that I can interact with? The area beyond that site was closed. Okay. So nothing. Can I put this out? I had to put it out. Yeah, but how? A dunk. I had to put the water out. Oh, okay. Alright, I get it. I get it. Collect the water, and then dump the water. I should have brought a flashlight. I should have brought a fucking flashlight. Can I take this? Can I just can I just take this flashlight here? Okay, I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm exiting the premises. My job is done. Who's there? 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back my tower to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was, ter was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I mean, why are you concerned? They clearly just packed up their shit and left. That's all that happened. They packed up and dipped. They're gone. I mean, they didn't pack up. Like, I, um... They just packed, uh, they just left. They just went home. Ah! Okay. 
That wasn't closed when I left. I have bear spray. I swear you don't want to mess with me. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Connor! Connor, do you copy? Tw uh, Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, Connor do you copy? I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Hot what? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Hey, language. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? Who are you talking about? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Uh, has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Okay. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention the scream. The scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. What is it, a mountain lion that also sounds like a screaming woman? God, animals are so terrifying. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Yeah, you know, uh, Britney Spears, or Britney Spears, uh, Hugh Jasmine, uh, Manita, what was her name, Manita Williams? <laughs> about a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with this camp, with the campers? Uh, what happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. Oh. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. <laughs> Entity schmentity! Nah, people get excited about that shit. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Why? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. New guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not! Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these. Yeah, get those goons. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. So am I done? Do I report for the day? Uh, let's grab our, our thingamajigger. Our, our dingo hopper. Oh! Oh my god. The, when the thing started spinning... Okay. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. 18 nits. Hang on, Kayla. Uh, what's the temperature today? Now that's 50. That looks like 50. That's 50 degrees. Uh, I'm checking my messages real quick. Message not delivered. Yeah, I don't get service up here. That's gonna be a problem. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got at home, too. Oh my god, it's lasagna! From chapter one. <laughs> Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, <laughs> Looking at the photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Can I? Oh shit. I can actually cook. I can whip up some stuff. Hang on. Ooh, let me see. Can I actually... Hold on. Wait a second. Pizza pasta, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced... What are the, what are the chances that I actually have the stuff that I need to make this? Uncooked pasta. This is meat. More meat. Baked beans. What are these, eggs? Mozzarella. Okay, cool, we got that. Pepperoni. Okay, what are the chances that we actually have the stuff that we need to make this pizza, pasta, whatever, jazz, or maz? Sardines? Yeah, I definitely don't need that. Sliced ham. Diced tomatoes, need that. Marinara. And a nice Coke to end it all. Okay. Is this our pasta? Macaroni. Where's the goddamn pasta? Unless the pasta, the macaroni is the pasta. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce. Place all ingredients in the casserole. Okay. We need diced tomatoes. Marinara. Macaroni. Mozzarella. Take that, put it in the oven. Bop, bop. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Just leave all this other food out. We're not gonna need it. Let it go bad. New guy, you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. New guy. 
Should I? I kept checking the oven, but it was still cooking. All right, it better not burn. Uh, Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. They can track them down and give them peace of mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. You better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it, boss. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, you sound like you're. You should definitely get some I rest. Know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. Over twelve. Signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Got to keep it professional. Kept checking the oven. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some reporting real quick. All right, still 18 nit wins. Skies are looking pretty cloudy tonight. What are we talking about here? Are we talking 50 degrees? 50 degrees. Wind speeds 18 nits. Cloud. Number of hikers assisted still zero. Jack Nelson. Oops, Jack Nelson. Something didn't look right. What? It's not clear. Mist? Rain. Okay, if you tell me it's anything other than 50 degrees. What? Oh, this is so confusing. That's 50 degrees. That's like a, that's a decent 50 right there. There's 40. In between the 50 and the 40 tick is 45. And it looks like the red is at 50. What am I missing? My name is Jack Nelson, right? It's only didn't look right. What do you mean? 18 nits. Three? Four? Zero. Dude. Dude. Is there a better way? Because I... I'm looking at it and it definitely says 50 degrees. That's not 60. I'm not tripping. That's... Maybe if I use the fucking binoculars. That's 50. The temperature was 48.6? Are you kidding me? Is that what it was looking for? I swear to... What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I like eating in bed. Yeah, just take the whole pan. It's steaming hot, but take the whole thing. Mmm. So good. Mm. You know, if I have to hear this in my ear, so do you guys. Future Chris, turn this shit up! Oh, I was already full. <laughs> okay. You got saved this time. Do I put it back in the oven? Uh, let's do it. I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah, that's a smart idea. It's a very smart idea. Can I put everything back? Nope, we're just gonna leave it all out. It's just gonna rot. It's gonna go bad. All right, good night. It was cold. I thought I'd... Oh, I gotta go get more wood. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I don't want to... Oh. Take the flashlight this time. Now that I know where it is, I'm gonna take the flashlight. Shit. I don't want to go get wood. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll freeze. I'll suffer for a bit. It's not that serious. Should have brought an extra blanket. Yeah! All right, all right, all right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, 
I've handled several challenges before in the Fierce Fathom series. I've gone through home invasions. I've been drugged. Another home invasion by a crazy ex. This is no different. Jet. I really don't feel safe about this. Needed gasoline. How am I supposed to accurately pour this into the... Okay, that should be it. That should be good, right? Right, yeah? Yeah, okay. Now we turn the light off and we go to bed. Woo! 2.27 AM, why do I keep waking up in the middle of the night? I don't need to pee that bad. I was woken by feeling by the feeling of eyes to drift open. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! Hey! There was something very strange. Okay. We can just go back to sleep though, right? Hide. I'm gonna hide. Okay. I'm gonna take my spray. I feel like my spray is more important in this moment. I didn't know what to make of it at this moment. Ah! Okay. All right. Okay. Definitely some weird shit going on. Nothing else to say? Okay. All right. That's fine. That's cool. It's all good. I had to talk to Connor. No, he's not going to answer. He's asleep. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? You there? I don't have any idea what time it is. There's something eerie about this place. There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. Mention the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. What if this is not a prank? This is serious! Not carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. That's the perfect place for a cult to live! Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Good night, Connor. There's not much else I could have done in the dark. Okay. All right. All right. Back to bed. Night three. Is this like, Five Nights at Freddy's? Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 PM. Okay, we're skipping the entire day. Uh, why is it so grimy? Oh, clean. Oh, oh shit, that's kind of cool. My paranoia from the woods only grew. Okay, I didn't get to read that. We still not clean? Looked like smoke over there. <laughs> Your son was in the bathroom blowing smoke. <laughs> uh, close that. That doesn't need to be open. Close that. That doesn't need to be open. I was too hungry. Okay, cool. We still got food in the in the oven. I mean, in the fridge. Got to go pop it in the microwave. We'll be good. No big deezy. 
Tower 12? Are you alive, Tower 12? You know, I've never actually seen this guy. Never actually seen him. I only know his voice. For all I know, he could be the one that I uh, need to worry about. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Okay, that's not my problem. What I'm going to do real quick, I'm actually going to go get some wood. That way I don't need to go later tonight. Oh, I can't. Oh, this is what I get for trying to cheat the system. You can wait. You're not my guy. You're not Connor. And the food in the microwave be like, <laughs> listen, listen, take a good listen. Listen to him slurp and munch. What did he say? It just tingles the ear, doesn't it? Weird. Buddy, this actually does look pretty good though. I might I might end up making this myself a little a little later today All right, throw that dish in the sink Sweet now, what do you want? Hello, can anyone hear me? Who's this? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out mm, Take a deep breath. Okay, okay Ooh, what's the situation? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Mm -hmm. and, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Mm -hmm. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipments do you have with you? He said he's lost, so he's not going to know his current location. Um, can you describe your clothing? What equipment do you have? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Where's your location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. That's the entire area! I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Uh, can you shoot them All for me? All I did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? What direction are you I'm facing? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. Wait. Wait, 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 I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Okay. Okay. Alright. Said so he was at a trail intersection. Uh, it's by a small stream. Oh, my lord. Uh, hello? Hey, hang on! Uh, are, are you still both of these trails? similar. I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Hang on! I'm gonna get back to you. Oh my god, he's fucked. The small stream. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. Help me! Here's a random... I don't need random facts! I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get take back to right. I'm going to be honest. Take the right! I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Oh. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I <laughs> hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you! I hear your whistles. That's not Wh me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Huh? Hang on. Bear spray. Bear spray. Dad! Yeah! Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. I just finished up a report. I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? 
May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your shower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Oh, is it with wood? It sounds like wood. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you up there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Yeah, I had bear spray. I was fine. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there are stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a, dis you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, you, you've said that about five times now. Did you take a photo of it before? See, in my head, I thought about that too. I was like, I should take a picture of this because nobody's going to believe me if I don't. No. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence thanks for the supplies oh anyways it's getting late i better get going now just keep watch thanks for the supplies okay okay let me watch you out i'll watch you out make sure that you're safe and all i had to report for the night before preparing for sleep no we don't we don't uh let me just throw that there what even is in the box there's going to be something demonic in this box. There's going to be something that we don't want. 58.7. Now that I know I can actually click on the temperature. God. That was that was my fault though. I shouldn't I shouldn't blame anybody but myself. 27 nits. God damn. It looks like clear skies. Cloudy. No, it's it's definitely cloud. 27 knots. I keep saying nits. It's not. 27 knots, clear, uh, cloudy skies, 58.7, 58.7, okay, all right, I love my job, 58.7, 27 knots, cloudy skies, I helped one, I, at least I think I helped him, oh, hold on, hold on. it's 907, no, this is not the right time, I wasn't sure if the weather, what, clear? Windy? So stupid. Uh, there's less people reporting. Maybe I just reported a little earlier than most people. Now I can go get my wood. Uh, where's my flashlight? Bada bop boom. Close that. Yeah, these are windy. Look at the trees. God damn. All the trees are about to fall over. I don't want to die. I don't think dying is on my agenda today. Ah! All right, I gotta check the porta potties every time. Gotta check the latrine. Gotta check the think tank. <laughs> what do you want? You just gave me. Okay. Oh my god. Hold on. You just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? What are you doing? You just gave me a fucking heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Name's gonna be deceiving. Call me Silas. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine man uh, maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. Uh, okay. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just try and keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely we relay information about fire sightings. I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of pre prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing uh, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. It's getting late. I'll see you around, Silas. 
I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead places, lead you to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. I never told him my name. I never told him my name. The guy gave me the creepiest vibes. I never told him my name. Guys, I never told him my name. Oh my God. I never gave him my name. How does he know this information? Did I? I didn't tell him my name, did I? No, I think I would have remembered. I mean, yeah, I was very spooked. I mean, like, I wasn't really scared at all. I wasn't necessarily spooked in the slightest, but like, I would definitely remember giving him my name. And I don't think I did that. So how does he know? Okay. Bop. Need to light it up. See, I'm getting better at this. All you gotta do is give me some time. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? No, I'm here. Trust me. I'm good. I'm good. We're Gucci. You copy now. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into oh yeah, okay. Let's get confirmation that Silas is the is a is a is a worker. Ran into who? Ah, I fucking knew it. The guy maintaining the near <laughs> Oh my god! Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? The tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair cost was deemed too costly. Guys, I'm... I'm its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name, and I didn't tell him! Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I don't know. Either way. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over, over and out. out. Okay. Okay. We're gonna whip something up. We're gonna make some food tonight. We're not hungry. Not hungry? Okay. Alright. Eh, I should just sleep with the I should just sleep with the lights on, right? Tonight's the night that I should just sleep with the lights on. Tonight feels like a good night to sleep with the lights on. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I was just a, it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. So this will be the fifth night. The fifth night is usually when everything goes to shit. 9.18 p.m. Oh, it's rainy! You got it. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Cool. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important system. Update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. Okay. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Yeah, this is 2002. A lot of, uh,. A lot of technological advancements. See, I was born in the age. I was born in 2002, so I grew up in the age of technology. I. <laughs> okay, I'm done. There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. It's 2023, and we there's still humans anyway, working jobs. For now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure, a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks. I got it. Okay, man, I love the rain. I'm, I'm probably not gonna like being out in it, especially during the game, but I love the rain. Uh, console. Help. Check for available updates. CH. 
K U P D. Three updates in total. Uh, update. Please enter the update package code. Ah! Oh, package code. Four three four six zero eight four. Package found. Please enter act an active line. Huh? Active line. Oh, serviceable lines. I busy lines. Okay. I need to do better at paying attention. Ah, uh, let's go with fifty four eighty seven. That's not what I typed in. Eighty seven. Wow, now in color. Oh, shit. The power was out. Fuck me. No, 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 no. Flashlight. No. Uh, at least I got the fire going already. Whoa. I don't want to do this. Can we just send some maintenance guy? Send some some maintenance, like a real maintenance worker. Generator ran out of gas. Okay, I'll just go upstairs and grab some gasoline. I'll just go upstairs and grab some gasoline. Oh! 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 Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right. Seems fine. I really need to pee before going back. Oh my God, it's not that serious. All right, we're good, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is a-okay. Oh, one week later, one week, one week later. Time was flying by, speak for yourself. Kind of generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I'd ever talk. Unless I was talking to myself. God, I'm going crazy. I'm going fucking insane. We got another one. Fuck do you mean? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack. Uh, I'm up. Uh, uh, what the fuck's going on? The fuck do you want? Uh, can I help you? you copy. Uh, why are you still up uh, right here, Connor? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Mm-hmm. And now I'm seeing this. Mm-hmm. Let me have a look. Jesus, Louise, I don't want to Jesus. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If no. Don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. No. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. No. No. No, no, Connor. Uh, we gotta fight this together, my boy. We gotta, Connor. Uh, can I take a flash? I should take a flashlight, right? Right. My hands are full. Nope. Nope. Ah, look at those bastard kids. I didn't know what to make of it. Okay. Yep. That's not only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence. What, can I take a photo? How am I doing that? Talk about new age technology. Oh, I thought I was taking a picture with the, damn, the zoom in on this thing. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Shit. Oh shit. Why was the flash on? Fuck. Why was the flash on?
I had to make a run. Go, just go, just go, just go. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I'm pressing sprint. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. I'm making a mad dash. I got drenched in the rain. It's not even raining. What are you talking about? Am I being followed? I'm not being followed. I think I'm good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. It was locked. That's fine. Oh, shit. Shit. No. What are you still doing? Sprint. Run. The RV. Oh, my God. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed an alert to the HQ. Look, Jack! Uh, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation in the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. What about the picture? The unease still set, still sits heavy in my... Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was looking this whole, making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh, what about the picture? I took that picture for no reason. My evidence! I have evidence! Survive the fourth episode. Oh. Oh. Jack's at the guy. Hey, Rail, I know I'm a small creator and all, but like, if you need somebody to do some voice acting for the next episode, uh, how's it going? How you doing? Big fan. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, special thanks. Nice. Okay. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, this one was pretty ambitious. There was a lot to do in this one. I do feel like it, it definitely stayed within the realm of like, uh, not too much was happening. So like, I wasn't getting distracted by too many things. There weren't like 15 million different areas that I could have gone to. Cause I mean like open world games, games with like massive maps and stuff like that. Those are great and all, but I just like, if it's going to be a linear game, I like for it to all to be kind of compact so that I don't get too overwhelmed because that's what ends up, that's what ends up happening is I'll start playing a game and like I like games that have different endings different choices but it's just sometimes it gets a little too out of hand <laughs> and I get a little flustered but this was perfect I would say if I were to rank the episodes I would say Carson House is still number one Iron Bark is like neck and neck with Home Alone just because it made me feel so uneasy I was kind of expecting a little bit more to happen. I was expecting a little bit of a longer game, but I, I mean, to be fair, I've been recording for two and a half hours. So yeah, I would go Carson House number one, Iron Bark and Home Alone two, Norwood Hitchhike three. But if I had to choose between Home Alone and uh, Iron Bark to fit like that two spot,
I want to say Home Alone just because it's far more relatable than the Iron Bark Lookout. I've never done a job like this. I've never even thought about doing a job like this. So it's it's not really that scary to me. It did freak me out. There was a lot of jump scares and there was a lot, you know, that had my heart racing, especially that one jump scare with uh, what was his name? The guy who pretended to be maintenance. But yeah, number two is still Home Alone because that's very that's a very What's the word I'm looking for? Not relatable, but something that I could find myself in a situation of. So this would be like one, two, three, four. I can't wait to see what episode, what chapter five is going to be or episode five. But oh, Rail, you are killing it. I don't know if you'll ever see this video. I don't know if you'll ever make it this far into the video. You are doing a fantastic job. And that's all I got to say. If you guys do want to see the rest of the um, Fierce of Fathom videos, there is a playlist that I have right here. If you want to see my last video, which was a Resident Evil 4 remake video, we're almost done with the game, everybody. Uh, there's a link to that video right here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there, especially if you're working as a, a forest watchtower worker. I don't know what the, the job position is. Take it easy and big body outs.